As you have seen in today's intro, we are going to build up this easy rotation transition effect in the Vinci Resolve Fusion page. It is a great way to transition from one shot to another seamlessly, and it can be done without any plugins. Turn on your computer, run your DaVinci Resolve, and let's get started. Welcome back to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. So today I'm going to show you how to prepare a rotating transition effect in DaVinci Resolve. We are in Edit Page, so let's go to Media Pool, grab some video clips. We're going to just grab two of them. We can close Media Pool now. So let's delete these audio files uh, with Alt and click it on the audio file. And uh, here as well. So now what we're going to do, we're going to shorten a little bit. So let's go approximately seven seconds, or you can just press Ctrl D and we can go with seven seconds directly. So you can put this one on the top, just shorten to the same length, put it one uh, video layer above, press this one on video layer one and press Alt and just drag and drop to video layer 2, copy of this first one. Now we have two different uh, clips, but three video clips. So this one is copy, and you, you will soon see why do we need uh, these three clips. Right click and go to New Fusion Clip. So put your playhead in the middle of the clip and let's jump into the Fusion page. In Fusion page, you will see all the nodes that we are here already. So Let's spread them a little bit, that we're going to be able to disconnect them. So you will probably ask why, I will tell you immediately. So when, when you see the blue line here, just press on it and it will disconnect. So you can disconnect this, this one as well. So now you can see three different nodes, but you don't know which one is which. So let's go and change their names. So let's go with F2, just press F2, or you can go, uh, you can go like right click and go rename. Uh, you will say, you will get the same uh, rename tool. So let's go with this one with mask. So the next one that we're going to change uh, the name, uh, it will be just, uh, we can go with great view and the last one uh, we're gonna call him flip because we're gonna flip him on the end so let's connect you can see here that uh, merge 2 and merge 1 they have background nodes here or uh, this uh, triangle so just connect great view and flip with them directly so you can also connect this merge 1 with merge two, so this one is foreground, as you can see. So let's connect this one as well. So next thing that we need to do is we need a transform node. You can grab it here and just put it on this in in the between grid view and merge one, or you can go like in this case, go to shift and press spacebar, uh, just right transform inside press enter and you have another transform in as well so let's highlight this first transform and what we need to do we, we we need to change the size of it so let's go double click to size just put 0.5 and you can see that this first image is uh, smaller in the middle of the screen so you can drag it here or you can go and just change it like this but be careful it must be on on the edge of the screen so the the most certain option is just click on 0.25 and it's on the bottom of the screen so next thing let's go to transform 2 and uh, let's repeat and uh, change the size of this background uh, uh, image here so let's go to size press 0.5 it's smaller 
but one thing that we need to do we need to flip the image or if you don't want to to flip it like this like this you can go with 180 so and it's the same thing so here you can just change it and drag it like this or directly with the mouse cursor to the top or you can just put it 0.75 and you have on the top so you can see that in the middle basically it's almost there so we have some transparency here but nothing to worry about so let's go to mask now one thing that we will need there is transform node as well and we will need merge node as well so let's connect this merge node with merge one but be careful so we have here foreground just grab this one and connect here so next thing is we need uh, also some other tools so we're gonna go with ellipse uh, above the mask so when we have one just grab it on the edge and just squeeze it like this you can extend it so grab it here when you see the white uh, outline just grab it because basically what we're gonna do we're gonna take the uh, the sky from from the top of the image that we have so let's push it to the top and you can already see that uh, there is different so we have sky don't go too far uh, I will just zoom in a little bit and let's change so soft edge and increase soft edge like this so be careful because uh, we have to put it a little bit down we're gonna change the border width a little bit so we can still change all things no worries about so it's a bit annoying here so like this and uh, let's zoom out and let's go to transform node 3 and let's move y uh, axis so let's move this ellipse tool in the between so you can see that we we will cover this gap in the between so you can see that we have a small edge here or uh, maybe just I just imagine this so let's be sure looks good I think it looks good yeah we, we have covered this so this is it so next thing that we need to do let's go to merge node number two and we're gonna basically drop another transform node here so next thing that you need to do let's put your play hat on the beginning of the uh, effect or on the clip so and next thing is go to size and resize it that it will fit on the top of the background so one thing that you need to do also is just go with uh, Y uh, tool or Y transform and put the image so it will not be seen in the background. Next thing is let's keyframe. So those three at center, uh, X and Y, so size and angle. Uh, go approximately 15 to 20 uh, frames ahead and what we need to do reframe it again the same three so let's go with center x and y and with size and angle so then we're gonna choose the, the position here we have 165 frames so it's approximately here the middle so and just go to the middle and put it 90 degrees in so 90 and next thing that you need to do is we we have to just put the both circles together so they have to match doesn't mean that they have matched perfectly but it's like this yep so next thing is let's go almost to the end 
so like 155 frame 155 and uh, now what we need to do it's just put 180 or you can put uh, before minus 90 or minus 180 because if you want to uh, turn the, the uh, your effect to left hand side or right hand side it's just that easy so we put 180 in and now we can see so let's also bring the image here like this and now basically we have effect but there is a problem because you can see we have visible background so and we need to correct this so let's go back to, to the notes and we have end of our effect here so we have keyframe he here just push this uh, arrow go to the middle and what we're going to do we're going to change this to five so the size will be bigger and uh, one thing is let's go back to 160 or 155 and uh, we're going to change the size back so like this and that's basically it next thing is go to spline so we have to soften the transition you have transform node here and uh, let's untick so those two this one so next thing is let's go to zoom you can see here the size so we can change the softness with just click on the node press F go to the next one press F and to this one and press F so we can close size open angle so just zoom it again uh, delete this middle one and just highlight it and press F as well so next thing is go to displacement press this zoom delete the middle one and highlight both of them and press F so let's close spline and we can go back to edit play page so we can see the effect directly so let's try it, try it just to play it through so the computer has to check in the, the, the effect so that's another one it looks great so one thing that we can do as well so let's go to effects library let's go to effects grab adjustment clip put it on the top so go to inspector so go to inspector open it have cropping here just put 100 or 140 130 so depends on your project so we have these black bars here so we can play it again through and that's the finished product so i like it hope that you like it too so if you have any questions regarding this effect please let me know down in comments and that's it for today see you next time fast and easy don't you agree leave your comments in the comments area and if you find this tutorial helpful hit that thumbs up button leave your feedback or comments below and for all who are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and do not forget to check my other videos as well wish you a great and successful week see you all next time cheers